Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to point something out to you that you have to be careful of when you start using the, di the differential form of uh, Ampere's law. So just for reference, here I have the integral form of Ampere's law, and here we have a, a region where there's current flowing through the region in a positive or upward direction, in a positive Z direction. Let's say we want to find the B field, or the magnetic field strength, at a distance R away from this region right here. So if the region itself where the current is flowing has a radius of a sub naught, and I want to find the, the B field at an area, let's say a sub 1, which is twice the distance from a sub naught, and I'll call that R, then the equation for the B field is equal to mu sub naught times I enclosed divided by 2 pi R, and of course in the direction, in the, the uh, circular direction, in direction of theta if you look at cylindrical coordinates. Now, if you want to use the same thing using the differential form of uh, Ampere's law, and then, of course, you want to take the curl of B, and that is equal to mu sub naught times the current density, and the current density would be the total current divided by the area over which it is spread. Then you want to use, then, and you realize then, of course, that the curl of B is equal to this, and then when you plug in the values, for example, uh, the B field in the R direction that's radially outward will be zero, and the B field in the up direction, that will be zero as well. And so what will not be the B field in the theta direction? Well, if you use this equation right here, you can then say, well, I'm going to replace mu sub naught i divided by 2 pi. I'm going to replace it just by a constant, right, where the constant is equal to this. Then it becomes equal to c, some constant, times 1 over r in the theta direction. If we then plug that into our curl right here, and we plug that in here, notice instead of b, we're going to write... Uh, c times 1 over r, and that's right here, c times 1 over r, and multiply times the r over here, that's part of the curl, then the r's will cancel out, and you'll just end up with the, uh, in here, with just a constant. So the r's cancel, and all you have then in this case is just a constant, and so in essence, this whole thing will then simply be replaced by a constant. So, then if we take the curl and write it out like this, which is of course equal to this times the product of these elements, this times this minus this times this, and of course it's not really a product because this is the partial differential. So if we write the curl all the way out, what happens, and we'll just see in just a moment, uh, so we have 1 over r times r uh, in the r direction times this times this, this times this. Now notice that the partial derivative of a 0, well that's 0, and the partial derivative uh, of a constant that is also 0. And then here we have a partial derivative of 0, which is 0, partial derivative of 0, which is 0. And here we have the partial derivative of a constant with respect to r. And that will then also be 0. And this is 0. And all of a sudden what we find is that we take the curl of b and we get 0. Hmm. That's not at all what we'd expect because we expect to get a result that looks like this. So why did we get 0 when we took the curl and, uh, uh, of the b field? And we don't get mu sub naught times the current density inside, we simply get zero. Well, there's one trick to that. If you're going to use the differential form of Ampere's law, then you have to remain within the region where the current is flowing. In other words, you can find the B field anywhere inside this region, but you can't find it outside the region. In that case, you're better off by using the integral form of Ampere's law. Now, there's actually a different understanding of that as well. We can still use this the differential form, if we do, if we play a trick, if we understand what's going on, once you go outside the region and there's no current flowing in the region outside here, then you need to adjust for that by using the differential form. In the next video, I will show you how to do that. Here, I just want you to realize that if you try to take the curl of the B field in a region outside where there's no current flowing, use the differential form and take the curl. You're going to get some inexplicable answer like zero, and you want to know why that is so, even if you follow all the correct rules in taking the curl and so forth. So uh, if you still want to know how to do that in, uh, with the differential form, then go and look at the next video, and I'll show you how to do that correctly in that case.